hi guys welcome back to my channel ladies and gentlemen boys and girls old and young i am super excited that you are here today and you decided to grace your presence to our channel it's a good thing for me and trust me i am happy Ooh, i am happy yeah. i can dance i don't i think i cannot dance i even try they rock you know so guys i've like had a lot of questions from you guys regarding the lithuania work permit for 2023 yes we posted it last week and a lot of people came asking trying to find out what is involved what is not involved first and foremost when you get this video please share with anyone that you know that want to come to lithuania anyone that you know that is interested in working here is interested in staying in Lithuania, likes Lithuania, want to come here. Guys, how do I look? I look good, right? I know. Let's say it and shame the devil. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your great group friend. If today is the first time you're coming across any kind of my thumbnails, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share with your friends. Share with people that you know is going to need this video. Now, being able to work in a country or stay in a country with a working permit or coming into the country is what you people want to do. And the country you're looking at is Lithuania, okay? So I am in Lithuania, so I do understand what is happening, how this package works. So today I have my phone. This one is like a mini computer that I use to pass and make sure all the information are not forgotten. So now, how does this work? If you want a Lithuania working permit. First and foremost, graduates are highly encouraged to apply for this uh, document. So how does it work? Now, we are assisting you here to be able to reach out to the employee or you can just send in your CV and we send it to the employee or you apply for a job. This is if you want to do it on your own. You just go to work in Lithuania, you apply to a job or you go to LinkedIn, you search for job that suits or that fits what you have on your CV. You put in for the job and if the employer, they like what they see, they employ you. Okay, if they employ you, they take it over from there. They assist you with the mediation later or the mediation code. You start the entire process. But if you don't want to do it yourself, you don't want to go through an entire stress or you feel like, okay, free travel is already in Lithuania and we would like to use your services. It is not an issue. Now, how does it work? Working in Lithuania, what it entails? I just wrote them down, so we are going to take it one step at a time. First and foremost, you will need to apply for a job. So we are working with a lawyer that assists with this entire packaging. So what do we do? We take your documents, uh, your documentations, which is your CV. We take your bachelor's degree, international passport. We take your photo passport and we take the entire document you provided and we present it before the lawyer. So now what the lawyer does is the lawyer goes through the entire document by reviewing the document because the lawyer needs to know where and um, when should he apply. So when the lawyer checks it and be like, okay, so, so candidate is qualified for this role. Okay. This is company at this time is providing job. It could be tailoring company. If you're a tailor, it could be IT company. It could be logistics company, any kind of company. There are a lot of companies in Lithuania employing as we speak this time. It could be telecommunication company. So when you send out the document for review, we check the entire document and we send it to the lawyer. The lawyer in turn check the document from his end. After checking the document, the, doc the lawyer applies for the job in any of the company that they are affiliated to. After the application, then they get back to them, to the lawyer, to tell the lawyer, okay, this candidate is fit for this job role. We can be able to provide a contract for this job role. So the lawyer gets back to us as the third party to tell us, okay, free travel, this candidate can be able to apply for this job role or this candidate can be able to apply for this job role. When the lawyer says that, I come back to you and I tell you that your document has been reviewed and it has already passed the credibility test, you can be able to apply for a certain kind of job. So for that reason, let's start the process. Now, starting the process entails, you've already sent the document, the next thing is for you to send in the money for the first time. 
Now, somebody will be asking me, what is the total cost of this entire package? The total cost is 208.50 euros. Sorry, 2,850 euros. That's a 200, forgive me. 2,850 euros to be paid twice. The first payment is after the document has been reviewed and you can be able to apply, you are going to send in 1,450 euros. Then after the submission, I'm going to tell you next when to pay the second installment. So now, after you send the money and we send in for the payment, you've already submitted your international passport, your CV, you've already submitted all of that. We've already submitted to the lawyer. The lawyer have already submitted to the Ministry of Labor. Now, the thing is, somebody needs to know because a lot of you asked me some questions which I'm going to address at the end of this video. But let me explain this. Working permit is provided by the Lithuanian Ministry of Labor. That is where we are sending your document to, to the Ministry of Labor. And this document is being sent by the lawyer. And I am here representing you because you are not in Lithuania. So all the logistics and everything we are doing is included in the 200, 2,850 euros. But the money to post the documents to you via VFS is not included in that money. After the document is ready, you are going to send a separate money for me to be able to post it to you because that is like a total different logistics. For example, if the lawyer is charging like let's say 2005 and we as an agent, we are charging like 350 euros. So tell me, after we run to the lawyer's office, come back, do all the logistics we have to do, which money do we have left to send your document when, the, when it's ready? It, we will not have that document. So what is the duration that the document have to stay when the lawyer have submitted it to the Ministry of Labor. It's going to be like two months for them to be able to issue the approval for this working permit. So during that period of two months, if it's been approved by the Ministry of Labor, they are, they are going to send an information to the lawyer stating that, okay, this has been approved. So what happens, the lawyer gets back to all that this has been approved. Then we take the document that has been approved and we email to you first. We are not sending the first time. We email to you. So what we email to you, on this video, you're going to see the Lithuanian immigration website. All you have to do is to email immigration with the document to reconfirm that this is legit. That you have been given a contract in Lithuania. Because you need to know this, no need for you to doubt, you can call the immigration, you can write them on Facebook, they are all over social media, you can check for yourself. So after you check for yourself and you confirm that this is legit, hence come the balance. The remaining one, the remaining money that is remaining, which is another 1,450 euros, you are now going to balance the money. So after the verification has been done, everything, you balance the money. Now, it is time for me to send the document that we receive to you via the courier services. Here comes the payment for the VFS because we cannot as well pay for you. You need to pay for this. So when we receive the money for you, first and foremost, I'm going to go to the VFS office because I'm the one handling everything with the lawyer. I'm like your point of contact. I'm going to go to the VFS office, sorry, with the um, DHL office. When I go to the DHL office, I'm going to reach out to them. We are going to bargain, uh, check what the price is, weigh the document, and I'm going to get back to you to tell you the outcome of VFS and how much they're charging. So you're going to send the money across and we post the document. So when you receive the document, what next? What we need to do is for us to apply. Now, some of you reached out to me and you are saying that you checked already on the Lithuanian immigration website and you didn't see Nigeria there. The truth is, you guys are right. Nigeria is not meant to be there because we do not have embassy. The countries that are listed on that website, when you check on contact, if you go to Migri's website, which is a Lithuanian immigration uh, website, you're going to still see the link on this uh, description box of this video, is only countries that have embassies 
which are saying which is to say that those are the countries that is authorized is written there foreigners e-services if you want to apply for residence those are the places you can be able to apply for residence so for residency guys you have to pay attention to all this information and sharing because if you don't get it if you come to my private space i will have to charge you for me to repeat everything i'm saying right now when you're applying for visa from nigeria as a nigerian you need to use vfs because vfs is going to pick your passport and all the documentations you need or the documentations yeah the embassy need in turkey and everything you're providing for them here, there in nigeria and they are going to take you to Turkey to apply for the visa now in this case you are not applying for visa rather you have been approved to work in lithuania so these are two different things somebody now here comes the question faith travels what is the difference between visa and working permit this is a very huge question that a lot of you have been asking me this question which i think i'm going to take my time to explain it so that you guys will understand visa is a document that is being given to you to enter or a document that grants you a permission to be in a territory of a country for example it can be south african visa it can be malaysian visa it can be vietnamese visa vietnamese visa any country's visa canadian visa u.s visa chinese visa once a country issues the visa it simply means we are granting you permission to come and stay or to assess our territory that is it but working permit means we are granting you permission to stay and work in our country so this is the difference between these two things because most of you are asking me if i'm applying for working permit from nigeria do i still need to apply for visa no you do not need to apply for both of them because it does not make sense like if a country is giving you permission to come and leave and work in the country why are they still going to ask you to get a visa again why visa is what visa guarantees you permission to enter the country working permit guarantees you uh, permission to enter the country so there is no sense in it but another thing that is confusing you guys is that for working permits you can be able to still assess the same country and work for visa you can be able to assess the country but in Lithuania, you cannot work with your visa. You need the working permit to be able to work. I hope it's clear enough for everyone because I really want you guys to understand the difference between this. Visa, you can be able to enter Lithuania, but you need a working permit to be able to work inside Lithuania, which is what you are applying for, from Turkey, not Nigeria. Now, for visa, you need to apply from VFS in Lagos or Abuja or for those of you that are from Ghana, you can come to Nigeria. If you're from Cameroon, you can come to Nigeria to apply for your visa. But when you want to apply for resident permit, it needs to be done from the embassy because this is being issued directly from the Ministry of Labor in Lithuania. And why do you need to go to the embassy? For those of you coming from Africa, you can either go to Turkey or you can either go to South Africa. And how can you be able to do that? Simple and short, you need to buy a ticket. We can assist you with that. And also visa is needed because you need Turkey's visa. Then when you get to Turkey's visa, because for you to be able to apply in Turkey or South Africa, you need to be valid while you're there. This is different from visa. I really want to clarify this. I am not, guys, okay. I really want to clarify this. If you're applying for study visa and you are going and you want to go to Turkey and Egypt to apply for this, they are going to reject you because you have VFS Korea service in your country. This is specifically for those of you that have VFS Korea services in your country. But for people that are from Cameroon, for people that are from Ghana that does not have VFS Korea service, they can go to South Africa, they can go to Egypt, they can go to anywhere to apply for visa because they do not have the VFS Korea services. But if you do have the VFS Korea service in your country, you are meant to apply for the visa in your country. This is the study visa. But if you're applying for the working permit, you are going to go to those countries that are listed 
on the contact of residency in Lutrina Immigration Portal to apply for the resident permit. Why is it important? The reason why it's important is because when you get to that place to apply for your resident permit, they are going to be needing your thumbprint. It's very, very important because two people cannot share one working permit in any part of the world, not even in Lithuania. So that is it. You are going to be needing your thumbprint and they are going to be capturing your face because you need your face to be on the plastic. Now, visa is a sticker that they put on the passport. They just place it like a sticker on the passport. They just put it there. Why resident permit is a plastic, okay? Mine is somewhere, I don't know where I kept it. Resident permit is a plastic, okay? It is different. So these are like two different things. Resident permit is a plastic. This is how it look. You see? This is a plastic. So for those of you that are doing working permit, this is what you are applying for, this plastic. You see what I'm saying? This have my, my fingerprint. Someone else cannot use it. And also, this is my picture. You see me there with my afro. This is what I'm saying. So this is what you're going to do. So when you come with all the documents you have from Nigeria, we assist you with the Turkish visa and you get to Turkey, you apply. What are you applying for? You're putting in the information because just to submit your doc the document you have and the document we sent to you via DHL, you're going with that as well. And you're going to see how a proof of fund, a proof of fund should be okay, maybe five or four, four million is fine. You will print out that from your document, you add it again together it's not going the proof of fund is not really like it's not going to be too much because you're already coming to work and you should be able to like have like a job okay so you add that together and you go to the embassy and you just submit so after you submit they capture they do the capturing of your face and the fingerprint and all of that you go back to your country then they are going to send you this this plastic this plastic that i'm holding they send it to you via DHL to the address you provided on the information that was filled. When they send it to you, you can now use it and come into Lithuania. Do you understand? So that is the difference between visa and working permit because I know that most of you have been having like this challenge and this is very important. And for the working permit, for this, for urgent, it costs 250 euros because you need to pay and it's like um, one month plus for them to be able to do this. So guys, I think this is like basically all for the working permits. Like I said, we are guiding you through the entire process. The payment is done twice. There are no hidden charges. There are no money we are asking you for extra. Now, somebody will be asking me, what about the case that has to do with refund? Maybe they don't approve it. Working permit have like a very higher chances because this is coming from the Ministry of Labor. And I think those of you that are wise should actually go for this because if it's approved already by the Ministry of Education here in, in Lithuania, you are only going to South Africa or Turkey to apply to get the plastic because it's already been approved internally, which is different from st study visa. Because for study visa, nothing is approved. The only thing you got is admission. And school can say, okay, we are expecting such a person to come, tuition fee has been paid. They can still deny visa. But working permit have like higher chances of getting or receiving this plastic. Because once the Ministry of uh, Ministry of Labor here approved this, when they when you are when you go there, you're just going to put in and do the capturing and all that, your fingerprint, because they cannot tell you to do your fingerprint and they post it. You have to be there at the embassy to do it. And talking about the new policy that Lithuania did now that allows people to be able to apply for resident permit outside Lithuania. So if you ask me, I think this is like a very huge opportunity and a great chance for you to be able to come to Lithuania, which is most of the most of you, which is your what which is the dream country for most of you, and you really want to come here to work. Some of you really want to study. And another thing I want to say, if already you are an A-level student, when I'm talking about an A-level student, 
I am saying this in reference to someone who already have a bachelor's degree, who is applying for master's program. And you've already applied for like, let's say one admission and you want to apply for another admission. I am going to recommend that you do not apply for a second admission. Okay. Or to any other university instead come for working permit because this have like, let me say 95% chances of you receiving this card. Because once it is approved internally here, the uh, uh, immigration is not going to be asking their Ministry of Labor, why did you approve this person? Because the company has already provided a mediation code, the company has already provided everything. You are just going to put in and receive your plastic card. So this is all I have to say in this video. Again, if you have any question you want to ask, I'll be willing, I'll be open to receive all your questions. This is not like a very lengthy video. I just wanted to explain to you guys that the information you saw at the website is absolutely correct. Lithuania listed those informations that those countries that have their embassies where you can be able to apply for the resident card, not for the, for the resident card. And for those of you that don't have VFS, you can still go to this country to apply for the visa. But if you have VFS in your country and you want to apply for student visa, you have to do it through VFS in your country. If you want to apply for residence card, you have to do it at the embassy, which is to say, if you're going to South Africa or Turkey, you need to buy or to get a visa for you to be able to do that. So guys, that being said and done, I think that is the end of this video. Should in case I'm forgetting anything. Uh, after we've already provided you with the after it's been approved one thing i remember right now after this card has been approved internally here and you confirm from the immigration and they tell you that the job is legit we are not refunding there is nothing to refund even if you go to turkey and they don't issue you the plastic card we cannot refund you because we've already done our job internally it's been approved then it depends for them to decide what they want and when you get to the embassy they ask you like a few questions if you're not able to answer there is no refund in this working permit because you're not going to go and meet labor, Ministry of Labor to give you back their money or you're not going to meet the employer that issued you job, job contract, I've already paid for your mediation later to come and give you back the money. There are no refunds for this job. And another thing I wanted to say is that um, this is fortunately open for all nationality. So there's nothing hidden. There are no hidden charges and it's an easy process and you have high chances of you being able to come into Lithuania and someone is going to be asking me about dependent for this working permit there is no dependent opportunity yet Lithuania is not providing a provision for dependent which is to say that one person's document cannot come with the husband or the children so that is is on individual base okay if you want the working permit if you're coming with your wife you have to apply differently your wife have also have to apply differently so guys that is all for this video we are open for business we are going to work with anybody and we are here to guide you to make sure that you do the right things at the right time this is your guy with faith and we want to say peace out thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for having me here see you bye